All right, welcome back. So, we're doing a uh, top 10 Mario games in honor of Mario Day. Yeah, it's a couple days late, but it is what it is. Instead of doing just my 10 Mario games, I'm doing five of my mainline series and then five of, like, the offshoots, you know, where Mario's naming it. And obviously, first up, Super Mario World. Um, I really enjoyed Super Mario World. It's probably one of my favorite ones that I can... Really enjoy the first sense of just exploring. Now, is it the best Mario game? No. But it's great. Next up, Super Mario All-Stars. Does, does this count as one or four? I mean, if you've never played Super Mario Brothers for the regular Nintendo, yeah, you got to play the Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo. I remember when I got that, it made me relive all the series over again, and I loved it. Now, if I had to choose one, it'd be Super Mario Bros. 3. Basically, it sets up everything for Super Mario Bros. World. Open map, tons of ways to go, power-ups, secret um, tunnels or warp zones, or however you want to put it, to go to different places. It basically took everything that made Mario 1 great and just expanded on it. I mean, the updated graphics that they did for the first game and on makes it feel like almost a whole new game. I wish they would... Bring them back for the Switch in this style. I mean, the art style is great. It's it's beautiful. I love it. Um, is it better than World? I don't know. To me, they're both really similar, both great for the time period, and they both hold up well. So you really can't go wrong. And where's next best to go? Now, this isn't in any order which one's my favorite or not. These are just my favorite five that I can always go back to and enjoy. Super Mario 64. I still remember getting it for the first time. I remember saving up all my money for the N64, go to my local Walmart, finally finding one, went to get it, and it didn't come with Super Mario 64. To me, it just, at that time, I just thought, all Nintendo consoles come with Mario. But why didn't this come with one? But I was still like, alright, I'll get the N64, and I'll just wait. My mother was like, no, you, you gotta get a game. So she bought this Mario game for me, I was like, awesome, I can't wait, because I had a plan for that weekend to go over to my cousin's house, sleep over for the weekend, and just play the whole weekend, which, which is what we did. So maybe that memory of just enjoying the whole weekend, worried-free, makes this game even better. But every time I go back and play the game, the game is awesome. We basically stayed up all Friday night, all Saturday night, got home Sunday at about 5, and slept until the next day to go to school. And when I say up all night, I literally mean we were up all night. We took breaks to play some card games to kind of refresh ourselves. But if we slept more than an hour, I'm surprised. If we dozed off, we're like, yep, we're back up, and we got, we did something. So, going through this castle, discovering Mario in 3D, every painting being like a whole new world, was just awesome. I really loved how it gave you a bunch of different Mario games in each one, and every time you went back in the painting, depending on what star you're going for, that world would change as well. I do get why some people don't like having to leave the world to come back in and walk all over the place and they're like kind of more of an open world like Odyssey. But you had to do that to change the world for each star and I'm okay with that. It really just, it looked awesome. In all, it's almost a perfect game. I mean, yeah, the control style is a little weird now compared to what it was. Back then it just felt it worked. You play it for 10, 20 stars and you control Mario, stops on a dime, does everything you want. I love my 2D Mario, but you give me Mario in a castle with a bunch of different worlds again, I'm signing up hands down. And with that said, we have two honor roll mentions I just wanted to throw out there. Yoshi's Island and Super Mario 3D World. They were great games, enjoyed them, loved them. Um, they just couldn't make it on this list. The cat suit is awesome. Baby Mario, not so awesome. Next up, Mario's, not next 3D adventure, but the next one that I really enjoyed, Super Mario Galaxy. Sunshine was okay, but there's some things that I just, I had to leave it off the list. It's not one of my favorites. But Galaxy, the opening sequence to that game was like watching a little movie. Really made you feel you're about to get epic. And then, flying around that starship, collecting star bites, 
going from planet to planet, it kind of gave me the feel of once again being in the castle and exploring whole new worlds in each one I go to. It it was close to Mario 64, but just wasn't quite as good, but it was still a great Mario game that I go back to. Yeah, Mario Galaxy 2 is good, but one I enjoyed a lot more. Uh, the different suits, the gravity, it was a great game. I loved it. Couldn't go wrong. If you never played it, I can't see you being much of a Mario fan, to be honest. I mean, if you played any Mario and loved it, these games still hold up. I would go try it out. I mean, if you're new to Mario and their first one's Odyssey, Wii's are cheap. Get a Wii, get yourself some Mario Galaxy, throw in the game, you're good to go. All right, and last but not least, we had Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Bros. World, Super Mario 64, and Super Mario Galaxy. Last but not least, Super Mario Odyssey. This was great. It was so enjoyable to go back to. The one the one complaint I had about it, though is off the bat, the first 50 or 60 stars, you start feeling this game's too easy. Mario 64, you really felt like you were working to get those stars. You had to explore, find them. This one was like, hey, you need a star? There, there's one over here. Oh, you want another star? There's one right there. Oh, there's one underneath this rock. Huh. Hey, there's one right above me. It literally felt like you couldn't turn a corner and find a star. And then you realize when you beat the game and you got the 120, which came really quickly, you realize now the game's not over. There's more to do. There's more planets. There's more places to go. And now it starts getting hard. And you're like, okay. Yeah, I got you. I love it. Enjoyed it. It was good. Now we jump to the other Mario games. And what can I say? Mario 64. First time I've had a Mario Kart game. Never tried one before. Didn't even realize there was one for Super Nintendo until years later. This was awesome. I loved Mario 64. The racing, the beating up your friends, and what I love about Mario 64 over all other Mario Karts, it didn't play favorites. If you were in first, you could pretty much get every single special item you wanted to. If you were in last, you wouldn't be given the best ones. You'd have to work your way up. Unlike the newer Mario Karts, if you're in first, it's like, oh, here's a coin. No, if you want mushrooms, you can get mushrooms. It made it so that if you got in the first, you could get a lead. I used to love racing around that track and bypassing eighth place. Be like, yeah, I know. That's fun. Nowadays, you're lucky if you can even hold a lead more than one or two races before. It's like, oh, blue shell. Ah, oh, blue shell. Oh, lightning ball. Oh, I got a coin for all that work. And then the next thing you know, you're in fifth place. It's It kind of takes the game out of being fun or fair. It's like, yeah, well, I just got to hope for the best that no one gets that while I sit here and get nothing. Back then, if you're better than everybody else, the game let you be better than everybody else. And if you're in last place, you better hope you get the things you need because it was hard. Do I not like the new ones? No, I like them. They're just 64. I felt had some uh, toughness. I wish they'd remake it for the Switch so I could play that. The settings of the N64. I don't want Nintendo to be like, well, let's make it a little bit easier. That was awesome. Okay, so let's move on. All right, next up, you have to go there. Super Mario Party 3. Yeah, there's one. There's two. But in my mind, 3 was the best. I really enjoyed the boards. I really enjoyed the overall mini games, the feel of the game. Yeah, 1 and 2 are great. But 3 just, I felt like, really hit its stride. After about 5... They start going downhill. Not really a fan of any of the ones after that, especially the ones in the Wii U. They really just took away some of the enjoyment. I think 3 gave you lots of mini games, lots of boards, lots of things to do. It's by far my favorite. Yeah, there's really not much more you can say about Mario Party. If you never played Mario Party of the old ones, if you only played like the newest ones, get yourself an N64 or a GameCube. You know, the ones for the GameCube aren't bad. And get yourself, you know, any of them. Three, I would say, is the best. But if you want to start simple, go with one. Yeah, definitely worth it. If you like Mario Party, go back and try the old ones. And then there's Luigi. Luigi's Mansion. What can I say? When I first played this game, I was not a fan. I stopped playing it. I got it with the launch. 
three games you had to get with it if you wanted to get the GameCube, and it came with it. I was like, it's not a Mario game, but I'll give it a try. Gave it a try, wasn't a fan. About a year later, my friends saw it. They wanted to see it. I brought it over to their house. We played it for a couple hours. I was hooked. I was like, why didn't I notice this the first time I played? I must have been so disappointed about not Mario game that I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. So now, after that, got into it, loved the game. Uh, Dark Sh Moon, it's okay. Really can't wait to play Mario. Ah, uh, Mario. Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, I'm waiting for it to come down in price. I have so many backlog games, I don't pay full price for games pretty much ever. Unless I'm really looking forward to it. 3, I can't wait to play. So, if you've never played Luigi's Mansion... It's kind of like Ghostbusters with a vacuum cleaner. It's it's enjoyable, it's fun, give it a try. Um, what more can I say? Alright, my video capture gave up, so we're down to the finals. So, next up, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Enjoyed the game, really loved it. I never played the N64 one, like really. I played it a couple times after I found out about Smash Bros. Melee. And I was like, this doesn't hold a candle. I love Melee because of the single player mode, the way it allowed you to play and build up your characters and unlock new things all by yourself. I love multiplayer mode. We played for hours, me and my friends, unlocking characters, finding every single one. And this was a time before you really could go online and be like, huh, I wonder what characters are on here. So it was a real enjoyment to be like, hmm, I can't wait to figure out who's next, what's next. And this was before you expected like, well, they're going to do this character. They're going to do this character. This was like, all right, who are you going to get in this game? And... That was really fun. Um, I tried mainly, uh, Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. It was okay. Um, the one for the Wii... That one wasn't bad. I liked that one too, but I really... Melee was my favorite, especially for um, playing against friends. And... Yeah, that's just my favorite. I'm going to have to go with that one, definitely. Alright. So we had Mario Kart. We had Luigi's Mansion. We had Mario Party. And we had Super Smash Bros. Melee. What else could there be? Well, of course it's Mario Maker. <sighs> what more can you say? I love Mario. Mario making is making Mario levels. But you don't got to be a maker to play Super Mario Maker. You can just be a player. Super Mario player. That That's another version of the game you should call it. If you just like playing Mario levels, 2D especially, get Mario Maker. There's tons of people. Follow people. Find the best levels online, download them. You're going to love playing the game. It really is just so much new levels to play. I just wish they'd add people who could make their own games. Give them a map like Super Mario Bros. World, and people can pinpoint the levels they want. They have to make a castle level at the end, uh, and there's a special boss level at the very end of the game that they can make only for that section where it's like a cool feature that you add into it. That way you could download someone's game, and there really are people talented enough that could fill up that list of games, and play it like you're playing a Mario game. That way it feels like you have a goal or accomplishment. You're playing this person's game, or that person's game. That That's the next feature I want. Instead of just playing level after level after level, something about walking around a map, finding what they put for the levels, and unlocking secret tunnels or whatever just adds to the experiment. So if you really like Super Mario Maker, or Super Mario, Trout Maker. It's for the Switch. It's for the Wii U if you have one of those. Um, yeah. All right, everybody. That's my top 10 Mario games that I enjoy. Five of the main series, five of the offshoots. If I mentioned one that you liked, tell me what your favorite part about it. If I missed one that you liked, tell me why you enjoyed it. And I've played almost all of them. I will say, bonus feature, Mario in Time. Yeah. I love that one. I... It's so simple, but I rented it once, and it was just... It hooked me. I'm like, oh, this is so different, and it involved Mario. I like history, I guess. So, yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and all that. And, um, later.